people. It's your boy Bry. I'm smiling. I've got a big grin on my face and there is a reason why people. Let's take a look. The dump trailer. Ho <laughs> ho She's in all, she's got two coats of epoxy primer and two coats of black urethane. Let me tell you what, this is shining. I don't know if this camera even does it justice. Let me see if I can clean the lens. She is shining so nice. You can see the reflection of the wheel covers in there. That is two and a half, actually, coats of paint. That said, black urethane. Now, I did not do the center, and here's why. This has still got to be welded to the floor beams. So I will do that afterwards. But let me tell you right now, your boy could not be any happier right now. Um, before I left, I went on a job. Um, I seen it and I wasn't really happy with it after a coat, coat and a half. I ran out of paint and I said, I've just got to, got to, got to go get more paint on the way home. So all the way home from Pennsylvania, this is what I was thinking about. And if you can't tell, we got her done before the rains or anything come, but wow, let me tell you what, the, all of the hard work has come through, people. When they say hard work don't pay off, know this, that they're lying to you. They're lying to you because they don't want to see you succeed. But take a good look at how nice that paint laid down. That is a single stage urethane black. The same thing I painted my truck frame with. It is very durable. It is very solid when it hardens up. And it is a situation that says there is not too many dump trailers that come off the showroom floor that are that well protected and coated. So this is your boy Bry. Um, I wanted to give you an update. Let's take a look at some of the products that we used. I wound up getting some more PPG uh, shop line. Now this is their lower line. Take a look at it. This is their lower line stuff. Okay, but he put uh, he put this in a gallon for me so I could use my my new top that I bought these 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 actually mix the paint up for you. They have it has a paddle in there. And uh, you actually mix the paint and then when you go to use it, it's got a really good seal underneath. And you turn and lock these. You don't need the lid no more. So these have a seal on them and then whenever you want to pour paint, you just go ahead and push the spout and it pours out really, really nicely. You don't lose a lot of paint in the seam like you would on a smaller can. Uh, this is the black I used. Okay, let's take a look at it. Um, manufacturer, now they've given me a, a Ford in America. I had a Chrysler before. But I, I'll tell you what, I think the Ford's got a deeper black than the Chrysler. But anyway, it's a J shop line product, J-A-U, and you have to use the, hard, uh, the hardener, which is a J-H-6670. Now, that is a fast top coat. It's a hardener. Um, in this temperature, that's what they recommend. But the other thing is what I bought, people, is I bought another quart of epoxy primer in black. And I'm going to do the underside once I get it welded with this. I do have some more gray left. This is about $50 a quart, and this is about $88 a quart. Now, I do have some reducer. But I'll be honest with you, I put a little bit, like, 10% reducer in the last one. I didn't like how it went on. It kind of was a little too thin. So we went without the reducer. Uh, I went back into my video archives, people. Let's, t let's, let's have a little conversation. I went back into my video archives, and there is a guy that I follow, my friend Pete. His uh, call, call numbers are Southwest Rod and Custom, SWRNC, my friend Pete, DIY Auto School, not School of Hard Knocks like my channel, it's Auto School. And he is one of the best instructors, probably one of the best information you're going to get online for free. He doesn't ask you to pay into his PayPal. He doesn't ask you uh, to get, be a Patreon supporter. He gives you this information of over 46 years of paying taxes and doing the job right. He does it, and he does it out of the kindness of his heart and to help you, the DIYer, do it right. And I would just like to say... I could not have actually done this job 
is with the quality that I've done it in and with the steps and procedures that you get to this level without giving a shout out to Pete Hughes of my friend Pete out in Moab, Utah, formerly of Dallas, Texas. He's the one that, that I've been going to school, online school at night, watching his videos. I've been doing it, doing it, and doing it right. And he, he'll even tell you that he wants you to, you don't stop until you know it all, which you're never going to know it all. But uh, anyway, I'm happy about it. I just want to, let's get, take another look at the situation, people. So there it is. Your boy's got the dump trailer. Uh, it's all painted. It's protected. It's sealed. We just need to get underneath and hook up the... Uh, the ram which is right here i've got to go get one hydraulic line i already have the pump a brand new pump set up this is going to be a game changer for the compound people um, when i turn around and need topsoil or i need wood or i need any kind of uh, scenario that would make me need a 12 by 6 uh, dump trailer your boy's in good shape and as you know i got tonka to, to tow it so but there it is. We're pretty happy with it. We're pretty pleased. She's pretty solid and stout. Um, we do have to build the headache pieces for the front and back that receive the wood. But those are going to be bolt-on pieces afterwards. I'm telling you right now, this is like a 6x12 casket. You want to carry some stuff, this will do it. <laughs> oh, very pleased with it. Very happy with the situation. And uh, hey, for all those people online talking about little uh, the rehab trailer, here it is. This is um, two quarter wood. I know we've been picking from it on the top right there at the back, but this is two quarter wood. And as you see, it handles two quarter wood just fine, which I honestly think the two quarter wood weighs more than the machine just by towing it. But um, another tech tip I learned from uh, my friend Pete out in U Moab, Utah was you can go and you can get all the cleaners to clean your guns and soak them and brush them and do all that. But this right here, not brake cleaner, carb and choke cleaner will clean your gun lickety split. This was six bucks. I think I could clean two or three guns before it extinguishes it. So literally for a dollar, a dollar and a half worth of two dollars worth of product at the most you're cleaning your your guns out and you want to do them right away you don't want to wait around and, and get distracted but uh yeah we can see the reflection in the mirror so to speak and just like michael jackson said you need to look at the man in the mirror first and uh we're definitely doing that we're looking at the man in the mirror and the man in the mirror right now says i need a haircut people <laughs> do you understand that i've been running and ramming around and getting stuff done i need to take care of myself and get a haircut and trim this beard up and get it cut right and get my get my lines back you know what i'm saying but uh this is your boy bry we couldn't be happier we've got her in paint and we're not fooling around people we're getting her done we're getting her done right because if you're not getting it done right you're not doing it this is your boy bry i have got to get on down the road